We're one step closer to a full revival. Up what you nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Dr. Stone chapter 120 and you ha if um, you haven't seen my Crunchyroll Expo video, um, it gives explanations on this bag and the signatures on this bag and I know I, or I have a feeling one of the said signatures that is on this bag is watching this video because he is an avid Dr. Stone manga reader. And if he is, hi. It, <laughs> he knows who he is. Um, that's the uh, music di director for Dr. Stone. And let me talk about Crunchy World Expo because, uh, or a little bit. There were some Senku cosplays, but there was no Gen or like people keep telling it's Gen. I'm sorry. I'm calling him Gen. Deal with it. <laughs> I've been calling him Gen for a lo the longest time. But, um, but something that made my life, and this is why I want to keep watching the Dr. Stone anime adaptation, is because, first of all, when I talked to the, um, the actual producer for uh, the soundtrack, I said to him, I don't mean to be rude, but the art and animation is lacking the same energy that Boichi's art is is given us in the manga and what really and he he's and i'm like can you please tell the art and animators to like really up the energy with the art and animation he said yes so yay um the other thing um that uh he said and it made me so freaking happy and made me really appreciate dr stone even more as he said he said basically how um they come up with the music for dr stone is he read he reads the manga and he's like thinking okay what music would go well with this panel like what does it sound like when i pictured in my head and i was just like yes <laughs> i'm so happy at the panel i was like i was in love <laughs> not gonna lie i'm like where's we need more of this and he said um specifically that episode 13 soundtrack is going to be amazing and i cannot wait for it but anyway enough about that um <laughs> last chapter of dr stone basically um we got everyone from the bottom of the ocean and revived kaseki first and uh we got our drone built basically but kaseki had to fix the lap car and all that but let's get to this chapter and see what happens next beguiling and sleek Ooh, yes <laughs> i love this cover all right this chapter is titled top secret Uh, Kimura is in a pinch? Um, I don't want to go anywhere near that head guy. Please, you have to come with me. I told you we'll stay with you on the way, but the one who was summoned was you, Kimura. Oh, God. <laughs> summoned the trap. Uh, this is the perfect opportunity. We suddenly have um, access to our enemy's boss, uh, the head. So butter him up and get up and get some information. If possible, take him hostage. And you really think I could do something so difficult? What? You're a man and push comes to shove. You probably won't get hurt much. Um, Kohaku-chan, you're taking this too lightly, I tell you. Mmm, Kohaku-chan, the intruder is you, isn't it? Tell me, where are all your friends hiding? Uh oh busted, busted. That's right, in a time like this. Oh, uh, the concealed weapon, pineapple. <laughs> for, your, for your pretty lady troop, if the head ever calls you, I don't want to imagine that. When you see his chance, scatter this across the room. A pineapple? That's just the container. Inside is ethyl acetate. Oh, shit. It's meant to be used on bugs for gathering insect specimens, but it's made with alcohol, um, vinegar, and a drop of our old friend sulfuric acid. Okay, and I have to say this about the anime adaptation. It really makes me mad. They didn't see the lightning god. I'm very scared we're not going to see the sulfuric acid goddess. I'm going to be very mad if we don't see her in the anime. It's, it's, what is this? Huh? Isn't it just what a normal pineapple smells like? Right, the components of this, um, the scent are the same, so everyone from uh, the southern island should be completely convinced it's just a pineapple. But it's not weak, weak and harmless. Good kids must absolutely not breathe this in. It um, affects the head and causes dizziness. Just do whatever you like with that. I wonder if this thing really will work. Um, uh, um, part of my intrusion, it's Gimro, it's Ginchan. Oh, here we go. Hmm, enter. Oh, um, well, you see, it seems what happened was that I came here, but if coming here means that, then the luck that allowed him to bear it is wearing off. <laughs> oh, no. Um, it's hard to see based on appearance. Um, please don't be angry. I'm actually, uh, you call for me, head? Yes, yes, at your discretion as always. Don't be so nervous, Jinchan. See, you might just be safe. It simply wouldn't be right to have, have someone unfit be along with the head now, would it? So before that, this old man will teach you all sorts of lovey-dovey things. If you pass, you'll be suitable for the head. <gasps> oh, no, 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 Jafar. Oh, Jafar's about to strike. Yee, don't act so 
so frightened. Like I said, I'm actually a, oh, that's right, you were the tomboy. Well, the tomboy put up a fight? Ah, oh no. Hypothetically, if I were the intruder, with something as top secret as my friend's whereabouts, do you really think I'd sell them out so easily? Woo! A weapon? Harem wedge, what are you? Oh, Kohaku go about to whoop everyone's ass. Yeah! Hmm, super strong. Kohaku chan, as I thought. T too many, huh? No mercy! I'm gonna kill you right here with the great Arashi Sama's strongest miracle weapon. Kill? Ooh. Aka! What the hell are you talking about? Killing? It's fine to kill the ugly ones, but a cute girl would be such a waste. The harem is my amusement. Remember that. This com this guy's combat ability alone is on a whole different level. The one they call the Petrification Kingdom's strongest warrior, Mosu. But right now, the Kingdom of Science's strongest card with the ability or, or not is probably me. Ha! If I don't stop this guy, then who will? As promised, let's have our match. There's some kind of commotion. And now, we're, now, now or never. Hmm? Descent. Pineapple? Alcohol? Oh, son, I'm dizzy. Yeah! Victory for Kinchan. All right, now I can run away. Wow, we finally give you an opportunity here, and you can even find the dust? I have to at least see the face of uh, uh, the head. Our enemy's boss, or Kohaka-chan, will kill me. Huh? It's so dark. Wait, is he stone? Uh-huh, it's so dark I can barely see, but this person, it seems like... Soyuz? Oh my god. He looks like Soyuz, and I think he's turned, in, turned to stone. Oh, yes, he's stone! Oh my god! He's petrified! He's petrified! Why? What's going on? So you saw it? I, I didn't see anything! No lying! Oh my god! Ooh! Clash of the Strongest! Oh my god! So the head is actually, is actually petrified! Oh my god! Oh my god, I did not expect that. So Jafar is really in control of everything here. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is really, this is getting very interesting. But I gotta give props to Boichi on the art, especially for the head. It looks so fucking creepy. I love it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Narragans. And if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive, so I can keep bringing you more Dr. Stone content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Narragans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.